there are six things that you need to be aware of when it comes to exercising if you're on metformin. This is really important because this drug can have a major effect on the effects of exercise and what type of exercise you really should be doing. So pay attention, I'm gonna list all six. Number one, it's actually a side effect of metformin and that it, it increases the amount of lactate or the lactic acid that builds up in our body when we do exercise. So thus, the in, it increases the rate of perceived exertion. That's a fancy way of saying exercise feels a lot harder than it really should be. Let me give you an example. If I go out and ride my bicycle, as you ride faster and faster and faster, it feels harder and harder to pedal the bicycle. Now you can measure this based upon heart rate and power and various things, but let's say that whether you're on a treadmill, you're walking, you're running, you're on a rower, a bicycle, you start riding harder and your heart rate starts to go up. And let's say your heart rate gets to 130 beats per minute. So you're pumping along and it feels a certain way. Well, if you're on metformin, now when your heart rate is 130, it's gonna feel a lot harder because your body is producing more lactate or lactic acid, that burning stuff that you feel inside your leg. So when you're at 130, it's gonna feel like you're at 150. Number two, a side effect of metformin is that it restricts your muscles from growing. So if you're tr lifting weights and trying to build muscle, this drug is gonna interfere with muscle building. It literally limits your muscle growth. Number three, and this has been studied, diet and exercise will control your blood sugar much more than metformin alone. Now, if you're already on metformin and you're exercising, you are trying to control your diabetes, you're watching your blood sugar. However, if you just were to exercise and do diet by itself, you would probably have just as good of results. Number four, and this is a concerning one, especially as you get older, is that metformin induces muscle atrophy. Metformin increases myostatin protein levels and myostatin regulates muscle wasting. The reason this is important is because as we get older, it becomes harder and harder for us to maintain our lean body mass. One of the best things you could do would be to build muscle. It increases your metabolic rate. It actually helps you live longer, as well as it helps control your diabetes. It's ironic that a diabetes medication would then cause muscle wasting and thus make it even harder to control your diabetes. Number five, poor absorption of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is very important for a number of functions in our body. One of them is muscle function. A lot of people who are vegan very often don't get a lot of vitamin B12. So thus, not only if you're trying to change your diet to let's say only a plant-based diet, then you've got the challenge of you are now taking a drug which is interfering with that metabolism and absorption. Thus, you get this vicious cycle of just circling the drain. Sixth and final thing you should consider with metformin and exercise is metformin decreases our testosterone. Yeah, that makes it okay. <laughs> the reality is that when you exercise, you need testosterone to build muscle. All these things I've mentioned already, as you can see, are very concerning when it comes to exercise and metformin. For some people, metformin is a lifesaver and helps them control their diabetes because their body is just out of control. But if you were able to control your diet, get an adequate amount of protein, get an adequate amount of fats, and get adequate amounts of carbohydrates, the right type of carbohydrates, which on are non-starchy types of carbohydrates, such as vegetables, you can control your type two diabetes much better than just metformin by itself. Well, I hope this has been informative to you. A lot of times people will ask, well, I'm on metformin, what do I need to know when it comes to exercise? And these are the six topics. Of course, it's very upsetting that a drug would have these types of side effects, 
But like I said, for some people, it can help them. For others, it's probably a better choice to change your lifestyle. If you're interested in learning how to control your diabetes naturally, then click this box at the end of the video. It'll pop up here in a second. And just watch that video. Take notes because it's very complete. It'll help you a lot in getting your life in control. So watch that video. Oh, and by the way, you know the routine. Thumbs up, subscribe, bell notification. If you want to contact me, we do Zoom and phone consultations. I'd be happy to help you with that. And uh, become a Patreon, and there's a join button, three tiers. You, you know the routine. But watch that video. It's going to really help you.